going to Abraham was born his father called him Abraham. When God took Abraham and said, you are going to be the father of many nations, God changed the name of Abraham to Abraham. Abraham means father of nations. Abraham means father of many nations. You don't know, you don't know Hebrew. What is your religion? Right. Religion? No. I don't have religion. Maybe ah. you do. I'm not interested. Ah, now, here's another thing. The Quran tells us that Abraham was taken out of a fire. That's true. Hallelujah. True or not? That's not true. What is the truth? The truth is Daniel was taken out of a fire. Ah, okay. So why has the right of the Quran mixed? Daniel in Babylon with Abraham in Canaan. See, they can't answer, yeah. Uh, I'll tell you why the mistake is in the Quran. In Hebrew, there's a word called O, O, and it means the sun or heat or fire. Abraham came from a town spelled U, O, not O. Big difference. Now, in 250 AD, a Jewish rabbi from Israel, he was reading the Bible. And then he came to Abram, and he said, oh, Abram came out of a fire. Why? Because the Jewish rabbi was wrong. Wrong. His name, Jonathan ben Uzziah. And that story of Jonathan where, where does it go? To the Quran. So the writer of the Quran was copying Jonathan. Because Jonathan is the first man in world history to make that mistake. And it's documented. So why would the Quran copy Jonathan? Mistake by Jonathan. Because the writers of the Quran were illiterate. They got no knowledge about Jewish history. They got no knowledge about God at work in Israel. Furthermore, the Quran has got the wrong name for Jesus in Arabic. Isa. What does Isa mean? Nothing. But in Arabic, Jesus' name is Yeshua. Like in Hebrew, Yeshua. In Jordan, there is a town in Ammon, right? And it's got the name of the church. It is called Al Bishra Church, which means good news. In Arabic, in Jew, does not mean good news. So why have you got the wrong name for the gospel? There's even a radio station in Syria. It's called our Bishara radio station. You can Google up right now, can you look at it? It is not called in Jew radio station because the word in Jew is not correct. So why would Allah give you the wrong names, wrong, wrong meanings, wrong people? Confused.com, big time. Now Jesus said, beware, the devil is the one that causes confusion. So you have confusion in Muslims. That's why they all run away when you challenge them. Isn't that amazing? Use this yak, 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 yak. Today it's like uh, we don't have an answer. Hallelujah. Jesus is a great rabbi, the great teacher. But he's more than a teacher. He's the son of God. He's the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Jesus said, I am the bread which came down from heaven. Have you eaten of the bread of God? Hope so. I hope so. Today is Sunday. Sunday is the day we remember Jesus came back from the dead. Muhammad, Buddha, Confucius, they're all dead. 
But Jesus is alive. <laughs> Tomorrow afternoon, we are sad to say we're burying a Christian friend. But he's going to heaven. We know this because Jesus gave him eternal life. So brother John Hillen is in heaven. Where are you going to? Huh? Jesus said, I am the door. When you open the door, you come in and you have supper with the King of Kings. Is your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life? If not, your name is written in the Devil's Book of Death. So come out of death into life. That's what we ask and plead with you. But guess what? Time is running out. Time is running out. Jesus, the King, is coming back again. And the whole world is going to try and run away. Can't run away from the Lord Jesus. They'll say, rocks, fall on us. We don't want to see him. And Jesus said, who do you think you are? I am the King of Kings. I'm the one sitting on the white horse coming down from heaven. Amen. And on his vesture is written the word of God. Yes. Jesus is God the word. And he's coming back at the last trumpet sound. All the dead in Christ shall rise up and meet the Lord in the air. Amen. May the Lord mightily work by his spirit on your hearts as you go home and ponder carefully the words, the living words of the one who was crucified but buried and raised from the dead on the third day. The first Christians were all Jewish because they saw Jesus back from the dead. And the church was started in London? No, in Jerusalem, in Israel. And the church had Jewish ministers, Paul, Peter, etc. They're not English, they're not African, they're not Americans either. Because God set up his church in the house of Israel. And then it spread all over the world. Hallelujah. So today, the church is in every country of the world. Jesus said, go into the whole world and preach the gospel. And then the end will come. Thank you. God bless you.